Well, one man who knows all about focus and professionalism is the one and only Tiago Silva. We recently sat down with the 37-year-old to talk about the special bond that he has with the Chelsea supporters and what brought him to the club in the first place. Com certeza é um motivo de grande orgulho e me sinto muito orgulhoso de fazer parte desse desse clube. E quando eu já entro no estádio, uma parte dela já canta e aí vai se expandindo para o outro lado ou Thiago Silva, ou Thiago Silva, então isso realmente me motiva muito, mas ao mesmo tempo me dá uma responsabilidade grande, porque eu sei que, que eles contam comigo, né? de alguma forma, com que eu esteja no, no alto nível para que não sofra gols, então eu acho que de alguma forma essa cantoria é, me passa uma motivação especial para que eu possa, de alguma forma, blindar o nosso gol, né? juntamente com os outros jogadores, obviamente para que a gente saia sem tomar gols e, e com a vitória. Well, the fans certainly generated an incredible atmosphere at the bridge on Wednesday night. Unfortunately, though, the result didn't go in our favour. It finished 3-1 to Real Madrid, meaning we have it all to do going into the second leg at the Bernabeu next week. Well, boss Thomas Tuchel was very frank in his assessment of the match when he spoke to us after the game. If you're so far from our own uh, standards, from our own level, you cannot expect that you escape with a result. We play against Real Madrid, we play quarter-final. I mean, uh, if we say before we need our top level, we mean it. We cannot underperform and then think we escape with a with a result. Um, yeah, it's uh, since the last we, we we just continued in the same way. Then we finished the the, the Brentford game um, in the first half was I think our worst half ever in terms of structure, defending, uh, awareness uh, as a as a team and like. And, and, and the mentality was, was far, far, far from our level. Well, the games continue to come thick and fast, don't they? With that in mind, the group of players you can probably see over my left shoulder, well, they are the non-starters from the game with Real Madrid, with those that began the match currently doing some recovery work inside. No time to dwell. In fact, they are now focusing on the next challenge ahead, and that happens to be a trip to Southampton on Saturday afternoon.